Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video we're going to analyze a brilliant attacking game played by the reigning world chess champion Magnus Carlsen. Sad news is that it's possible that even from today on Carlsen will no longer be world chess champion if Ding or Nepo wins. Yeah, very painful, but that was Carlsen's decision not to play a world chess championship match. Anyways, let's proceed. Carlsen's opponent is Jan Karzysztof Duda and this game is from 2021 Meltwater Champions Chess Tour Final. The game was played in a rapid time control and Carlsen opened up with d4. Duda's answer was knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, d5, queen's gambit declined is on the board and we have the exchange variation. Knight f3, c5, e3 reminds me of semi tarash defense, which we reached with a different move order. Queen c7 attacking the pawn on c3, but we have rook b1 move by Carlsen. Here black didn't go for queen takes c3, instead first played knight d7 and only after bishop d3 Duda accepted the pawn sacrifice. And king f1. I am more than sure that this is a well prepared line by Carlsen and it came as a surprise for Duda definitely because very quickly we will see that he will find himself in a very miserable position. Bishop e7, the king on f1 looks safe, moreover now white can switch his rook into the attack from the third rank. Duda castled kingside, rook h3, knight f6. A mistake, a serious mistake. You should not allow white knight to jump on e5 and open the queen's diagonal. Bachelor is playing queen c7. Moving away your queen from opponent's camp. And then go for b6 and think about the development of this light squared bishop. Instead we have knight f6. Since black has no longer has control over e5 square, we have knight e5, queen a5, rook g3, this bishop h6 is coming now, right? That's why black moved away his king from the g file and bishop g5 creating a very nasty bishop takes f6 threat. h6 was Duda's answer, but let's take a look what if for example b6, let's make a random move, then bishop takes f6 and if here then queen h5 with a mating threat. Now if h6 then white has a very strong crushing move. That move is rook g6, threatening rook takes h6. If you accept the rook sacrifice, then queen g6 is coming, and if queen d2, covering the h6 square, then rook takes f6, and then rook d1, and white is winning. Or after queen h5, if g6, then bishop takes g6 is winning. Check, another check. Queen h7, white is winning. So in the game after bishop g5 we have h6 and now question arises what to play. There it goes, this time Carlsen played bishop takes h6. g takes h6, queen f3. Duda resigned, the threat is queen f4. And if you play knight g8 then there is a very beautiful move with which white can conclude the attack. Can you find that move? Yes, you are right. Queen takes f7 is winning on the spot. If here then knight takes f7 checkmate. Pity that we don't see this line, line in the game and instead after queen f3 finding no defense Duda resigned. A quick and very confident victory by the reigning world chess champion. In the end, the chess puzzle for you, the task is to mate in four moves. It's white to move and as usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care.